हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज डिमांड फॉर गुड्स एंड कंजम्पन फंक्शन द डिमांड फॉर गुड्स इन द सोलो मॉडल कम्स फ्रॉम कंजम्पन एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट इन अदर वर्ड्स आउटपुट पर वर्कर डिनोटेड बाय वाई इज डिवाइडेड बिटवीन कंजम्पन पर वर्कर एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट पर वर्कर वी कैन राइट दिस इक्वेशन एज y equals to c plus i. This equation is the per worker version of the national income accounts identity for an economy. Notice that it omits government purchases and net exports because we are assuming a closed economy. We know that national income accounts identity in a two sector economy can be written as y equals to consumption plus investment to convert this equation in per worker terms we will divide this whole equation by labor force in the next step we can write it as y upon l equals to c upon l plus i upon l next step this will be written as small y which denotes output per worker equals to small c denotes consumption per worker plus small i denotes investment per worker so this equation is the per worker version of the national income accounts identity fine the solo model assumes that each year people save a fraction s of their income and consume a fraction 1 minus s we can express this idea with the following consumption function so we can write our consumption function as c equals to 1 minus s y where s is the saving rate it is a number between 0 and 1 we know that saving rate equals saving upon income income is either consumed or saved in the next step we can write it as y equals to c plus we can write saving as saving rate times income in the next step we will convert this equation in per worker terms so we will write y upon l equals to c upon l plus saving rate y upon l next step this can be written as small y which denotes output per worker equals to consumption per worker plus saving rate times output per worker in the next step we can write c equals to when you will solve this equation this will become 1 minus saving rate times y okay so here we have these two equations the first equation is the per worker version of the national income accounts identity and this is our consumption function where the small s denotes the saving rate to see what this consumption function implies for investment we will substitute 1 minus sy for c in the national income accounts identity so basically we are substituting this consumption function 
into this national income accounts identity and what we will get y equals to 1 minus sy plus i rearrange the terms in order to obtain i equals to sy so if we have these two equations what we have done we have just substituted this consumption function into this first equation so this will become y equals to 1 minus saving rate y plus investment per worker in the next step we can write it as i equals to y minus 1 minus s y next step i equals to y minus y plus s y this will be cancel out and final equation is i equals to s y okay this equation shows that investment equals savings thus the rate of saving that is small s is also the fraction of output devoted to investment it is a fraction of output devoted to investment we have now introduced the two main ingredients of the solo model the production function and the consumption function which describe the economy at any moment in time for any given capital stock k the production function which is y equals to fk determines how much output the economy produces and the saving rate s determines the allocation of that output between consumption and investment thank you